Texas Roadhouse is one of those great entrepreneurial success stories. The idea for the restaurant chain started on the back of a cocktail napkin in Louisville, Kentucky by CEO Kent Taylor. That idea spread to 600 locations in 49 states and 11 countries. But like so many things in our country and in the world over this past year plus, COVID-19 sunk its horrible claws into this situation. Kent Taylor, the CEO of Texas Roadhouse, famously gave his entire compensation package to his frontline workers to help them make ends meet. He had been suffering recently from the horrible after effects of COVID-19. He was battling with horrific tinnitus, a ringing of the ear that just kept getting worse and worse and worse until unfortunately Kent made the decision to take his own life. That's one of the parts of this horrible virus that we're still trying to make sense of. Still, we don't know how the virus affects people long term, what type of side effects that you're going to have. I'm not trying to get up on my soapbox, but again, this is a, another factor in making the decision whether you get vaccinated or not. It's not just if you're going to get it, but how is it going to affect you short-term, long-term, if you do get it. Texas Roadhouse had mapped out a very successful path into the future with new franchises of the Bubba's 33 brand, Jaggers, as well as a meal delivery service, the Butcher Shop, that actually mail, uh, mails out steaks, famous steaks from Texas Roadhouse. And they had made a major inroads into what their business plan was going to look like for the next decade. Now, with the unfortunate passing of Kent, Jerry Morgan, a 20-year veteran of Texas Roadhouse, is going to take the reins. He's a former regional partner, having been over 120 locations of Texas Roadhouse. Kent Taylor was a truly nice person, a CEO that had a heart for his employees. He was a former track star. Certainly not the way he would want to go out. Certainly not the way anybody would want him to go out. But Kent Taylor, a wonderful man, unfortunate casualty of COVID-19 and just a reminder of what this virus has and, and continues to take from us. Our, our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Now I want to ask you, how do you make so much money in the midst of a pandemic? $630 million of profit in the most recent quarter. That just is astounding. Uh, you just learn to pivot through all this, I guess, and uh, learn how to pivot into the parking lot, pivot back into the building, and then uh, obviously with about 100 stores now, we're pivoting back into the parking lot.